Starting your own YouTube channel can be very intimidating, but we're gonna break it down to five easy steps. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to our channel. We're gonna give you some tips again to how to start your own YouTube channel. Five easy steps. Okay, so step one is branding. Keeping it consistent across all platforms. Also, figure out what you wanna talk about. What are your videos about? Are you gonna be in a super drilled down, specialized niche like baking or basket weaving? Or are you gonna be something a little bit more generic like us? We just chose to vlog about our life. And in turn, we called it Becky and Chris. Very easy. The common unifying theme is that we're just documenting what we're into, whether it be helicopters to photography to- Our house. You want people to recognize your name right off the bat and what you do. So make sure your name is relevant to your content. We'll talk a bit more about that in a later video because we can go so in depth on yeah, that. Yeah, we can do a whole video on that. Yeah, all right, on to the second one. is pre-production or the planning out of your video. Once you decide what your video is gonna be about, figure out um, what shots you wanna get, what you wanna say in your video, location, uh, script if you need a script. This is the step that everybody forgets to do. The trap that most people fall into with these run and gun style YouTube videos is that they don't plan. They just go out, they shoot everything, and then they hack it up afterwards in posts trying to assemble a storyline. You're making more work for yourself and you're gonna end up with a less cohesive result. Everything doesn't need to be storyboarded out like they do for film. All you really have to do is just have a loose outline like you were saying, mm -hmm. and then it kind of keeps you on track. And then at the end of the day, after you film everything, you don't, you don't come home and be like, oh no, I missed this shot. Oh, I forgot to talk about this one thing. Yeah, exactly. Just make a loose outline and that should be enough. <laughs> oh, there's bugs on me, I think. Bugs. bugs. All right, oh. let's get out of here. Okay. is production. So that's the filming, the actual process of shooting your video. Exactly, so. Could you hold this, it's a bit heavy. Okay, here, let me take it. It's enacting your plan and acquiring the raw clips that you're gonna later assemble in post-production. You might be asking, oh, I need a really fancy camera. You don't need a fancy camera. We shoot all of our videos in the Sony A7S II, which is a fancy camera, but you can use your iPhone or any phone that you have available. You can use your GoPro. You can use whatever camera you want. It doesn't really matter all that much. Whatever films and works for you, is a great way to get started and you can always upgrade later. Exactly. So step four is post-production. It's the assembling, the editing, the color grading, tweaking your audio. This is the part where all of your raw clips and your raw materials that you acquire during post-production, careful, don't fall. All of that comes together, it creates your final polished product. For editing, we use Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Uh, you can also use Final Cut. Um, iMovie, Movie Maker, these are free apps that come on your Mac or PC. And there's also a lot of free software out there available as well. I don't have a whole list, but if you guys do have any suggestions on free editing software, leave them in the comments below to help your fellow editors or YouTubers out. Music, keep in mind that you can't just haul any old music off the internet and use it. You need either permission from the artist or you need a special license. The easiest way to do this is to sign up for a subscription service like Epidemic Sound or Artless. This is not sponsored, this is just what we use and we really like it. If that is not in the budget, YouTube actually has their own library of free copyright music that you can use. There Lots of options there, just keep that in mind. You don't wanna get any copyright strikes. Copyright strikes equals bad, but will put your YouTube channel in bad position for monetization later on down the road. Final step, step five, export your video and hit that upload button. After that, come up with a content schedule. You wanna be consistent with your schedule. If you're gonna tell your subscribers you're gonna upload every day, do that. Every week, do that. Every month, do that. Just as long as you stick to that schedule, people will know when to expect your videos. Just make sure you pick something that actually works with your schedule. Don't commit to a weekly upload if you work full time and you know that you're not gonna be able to upload weekly. You can even state it on your YouTube header that you upload videos once a week or once a month. A bunny. A bunny, where? Right oh, there. look at that guy. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this walk through the park. It's very hot today. We're trying to get outdoors a little bit more before the summer is over. So with that said, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We will see you in the next one.